Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Ro. In this ACF tutorial, we're going to be going over the movement component, so let's go ahead and get started. So to change the settings of your movement component, you're just going to go into your character's blueprint and you're going to scroll down until you see this ACF character movement comp. And what we're going to be paying attention to is the right side. So in our controller, we're going to be able to adjust our turn rate and look rate and so on. But in our movement, let's say that you wanted your default state to be walking. So you can change this to walking and hit compile save. And now, just as easy as that, your character will be walking in its natural state. So I'll change this back to jog. And in your locomotion states, so you can set the speed of it, how much stamina it takes, and so on. So under your sprint, you're going to already see in stat modifier, which is affecting the regen value of your stamina. So it's saying regen negative 30 while you're sprinting. If I wanted to affect my jog state, I would just add an array under my statistics modifier and leave max value to zero, and I'll regen it by, let's say, 100, negative 100. And I'll go ahead and look for my stamina under my statistics and add additive. And then when I compile and save, and now when I just naturally jog around, it's going to start using my stamina a ton. So you're going to see that my stamina gets all used up just from jogging. So I'll go ahead and delete that one because I want my character to be able to jog around. And let's say I want to set my sprint to something super fast, like 2000. I would just go ahead and change this max state speed to 2000. And then when I hit control play, I'll be jogging normally. But when I sprint, I'm going to be a lot faster than what the default sample gave me. But it's hard to see because I'm not on a flat surface. So let me, okay. So let me do it from here. So when I start sprinting, you're going to see my character just zoom through super quick. But if you're building a really fast paced game, then that makes sense or anything kind of anime based. So I'll set this to 800 for my, just for preference. In addition to the locomotion states that we went over, there are also movement stances. So for example, when you hold right click in your full sample, you're going to you're going to start aiming and you'll see that cursor come up. But when you do right click, it forces your character to walk like this. And in the ACF movement component, you're actually going to be able to change that by going under your movement stances and let's select jog. So now, now you can jog and aim at the same time. You can even add this as an enhancement to your character later. So aiming doesn't force your character to walk. So if you're blocking, you can let them walk or they have to idle, basically stand still, or they can jog while blocking or even sprint while blocking. And sprint direction cone just lets you sprint change the angle of your sprint. So right now it's only at a 10 degree angle. So if I change this to 360 and I were to sprint, then I could turn around, then I can basically sprint in a full circle without really stopping much. I may have to increase this, but it's better than just my stamina right now. This just makes it easier for your character to move around and sprint. And if I were to set the cone to zero and try sprinting around, I can basically only sprint in a straight line. The second I turn, it breaks my sprint. And that's a quick overview of ACF's movement component. If you want to see more tutorials, let me know what you want to see next. Like, subscribe, don't forget to share. And if you want to support this channel, my Patreon is in the link below. Thanks for watching.